this video we're going to talk about embedding fonts for text fields. So what I have right now is a basic stage. I have a static text field, so the classic text, static text, and a dynamic text field. Because this is dynamic, I'm allowed to give it an instance name. So dyn underscore txt. That's the instance name that we've given to this dynamic text field so that we can access it in our programming. Now, I've already created a document class called text doc. Over here, if we look at it, nothing in there right now. But what we can do is we can access it by its instance name and set its text property to something else. There we go. So we are accessing that dynamic text field and changing the value of what's written inside there. So if I run this, I should get static text field and then something else. But I don't. You see here, we get this odd combination of letters because Flash didn't know how to create all the letters required to write out the full thing for something else. Capital letter E didn't exist anywhere else, so it didn't know how to write that. So what we need to do is, as it says down here, we need to embed fonts. All right, so how do we do that? Dynamic text field, click on that so I get the property panel for the text field. This button right here, embed, if I click on that, it's gonna bring up this window, Calibri, that was the font that we had chosen. I can give it a name, let's say I'll call it Cal, and then I choose which of the glyphs I want to include in that font. Now a glyph is just a shape capital letter A, lowercase a, each letter, each shape is a glyph. So I'm going to include the uppercase, lowercase, numerals, and punctuation. That's all I need. You can see there's 93,000 possible glyphs. I've only included 114 of them. But that's all that we need for most things that we do. Alright, so I've embedded the 114 characters. Now I have to change the font that I'm using up to the very top of my list. There it is, Cal with an asterisk. The asterisk means that this is the embedded font. That's what I'm using here. In my library, there it is. Because I embedded it, it shows up in my library now, which just gives us an opportunity to edit it later if we want to. All right, so save it, run it, and there we go. Now it will properly render this because we've included those glyphs in the Flash movie so that Flash knows how to edit this field. It knows how to replace those glyphs with the brand new ones. Without embedding, we can't do that.